Hello. Although you finished your assessment task for Esperanto, there are a few common errors that had me a bit concerned, so I thought I'd have a quick talk about what they were just to consolidate some of your learning. So, let's work together with this fairly simple sentence. The big dog likes the beautiful cats. Now, here's what lots of you did. You went, OK. The is la. Big is um, grande. Dog is hundo. Likes. Uh, to like is um, AMI, uh, beautiful, Bella, cat, um, cato. And you might, if you're lucky, have remembered that it was catoy and put the J on. And you left it at that sometimes. Now, this actually is close, but it's actually not the whole picture. There's a couple of things that need fixing up. So, Le Grand Hundo is fine. That is the big dog. We don't need to change either of those. But Ami is means to like. So what you've in fact got the sentence is, the big dog to like the beautiful cat. And even that's not working beautifully. So you actually need to change the ending of that to AS because that makes it likes happening right now. If you wanted to make it will likes it would be OS and if it liked in the past it would be IS. But for the purpose of our translation it's AMS. It's happening right now. And not all of you did this. Some did but some of you forgot to do it. You just started dropping in the I endings. So you had sentences, you know, the big dog, to like the beautiful cats. Now, because the beautiful cats are being liked, and they're incidentally they're cats, not just a cat, they need a J on the end of cat, and you also need a J on the end of beautiful, because when you change, not unlike in English, beautiful doesn't need to change when cats changes, but in Esperanto it does. You need to have agreement between these two. So they both need to be plural, and what they also both need is an N on the end because something is happening to them. They are being liked. They are not the ones acting in this sentence. The one acting is the big dog, which is um, La Grande Hundo, which is doesn't has got the subject ending. That's the subject of this sentence. And when it is happening to you, you need the object ending. So that's it. So as you can see, it's actually pretty simple, but you did. some of you did need to be a bit more um, meticulous and careful about it. So anyhow, that's the last I'm going to say about Esperanto for now, and I'll leave it at that.